everyone. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a hot topic, a little hot button if you will. Um, but I need to disclaim this video by saying I'm not homophobic. I'm quite the opposite. I support gay, straight, animal marriage, whatever. If you want to marry a horse, I support it. I think it's illegal, but you know, some states gay marriage is legal. I still support it. So while you may not be homophobic, you sure don't know much about homosexuality. Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer. I already am aware that many YouTubers have made a video response to her and it's only about two months old. However, I feel like yeah, I should make a video response regardless. So I am going to make this as short as possible and pray to whatever God that exists that I don't take too fucking long. I will, um, I will say this. I went to a gay website and interviewed a few, um, gay people there. And surprisingly, some of these boys actually find me cute. I'm a bit flattered. Most girls would run away from me. But that's a siphon in the point. Um, the point is, is that I interview a few gay people. One of them actually left a very long sentence, which I will show later on in the video, which will pretty much disprove her entire argument entirely. I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. There may not always be, there's never going to be a universal answer. There's just not. Do you choose to be gay or are you born gay? Now, growing up Catholic, obviously they say you choose to be gay, and uh, a lot of people say you're born that way. A lot of uh, gay people will say, you know, why would I choose this to make my life harder? That makes sense. Like, why would someone choose to be gay if their life is going to be hard? Now, he That's because some Christians out there and Catholics give gays a very hard time just because they chosen this lifestyle and I will prove that being gay is not a choice just late in the later part of the video here's where here's where I get because I used to be like oh they're just born gay because my whole life I identified as a heterosexual straight female I liked males and that was it like I was just like oh that's just born there's no way I'm going to have intimate sexual relations with a girl. Um, okay, so fast forward now to a couple years ago where I had a really good girlfriend, uh, best besties, best friends if you will. We were super duper close and I found myself attracted to her. She was super beautiful and at the same time I found myself wanting to like be intimate with her. And I made that choice because I was like, okay, this girl, like I said, I was attracted. I wanted to be intimate with, I had intimate feelings for. I said, I'm going to be gay. Th I, that was a choice I had. I never was attracted to females before in that sense, but guys turned me gay. And it's it was true. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, Trisha, you're not gay. We're just experimenting. No, like I was full on gay. And I chose that. I chose to be gay. And then, you know, it didn't really work out for me with her. And I chose to be straight again. That is where you're wrong. If you actually have some sexual attraction to some women, then you are by default a bisexual. Now, of course, a bisexual could lean towards women or men more. It doesn't mean that they're straight. They're still bisexual, but they prefer to sleep with a certain gender rather than the other. But if, and if it's convenient for them or they have no other, pl um, other places to go, they will sleep with the opposite gender or the same gender or whatever. Some people are more geared than others, and some people are more straighter than others. However, 
You're still a bisexual by nature. And truth be told, you can have sex with the same gender with with the same gender and still be straight because as long as you have no sexual desires to be with the same gender even if you have sex you still will be straight but seeing that you had some sexual desire with this person had some feelings for this person you are bisexual by default and nothing in this world can change that. You may still find more men attract, you know, men to be more attracted than women. However, the fact that you had feelings for a woman doesn't change anything. Allow me to read from this passage that my friend that I met on this particular website have said about this no one chooses who they are sexually attracted to. For those that claim it is a choice, I suppose that at first 100% of people were either unattracted to them or they are, were neutral looking wise. But as time goes by, they just lay their eyes on someone and think, I choose for this person to be attracted to me. Then a light from heaven comes down and magically make this person that was just unattracted or neutral to them now attracted to them because they chose it. They even chose for some people to be unattracted to them. Because sexual orientation is based on whom you are sexually attracted to, if one of those people that they chose to be attracted to them is female, that would make them straight. That might be how it works for these it's a choice people, but most people aren't as special as them. They automatically are sexually attracted to whoever they are. It is, it, it, it is she is hot and not I choose for her to be hot to me. The sense of sight relays the message back to the brain the degree to which the person you are looking at is attracted to you. When you eat something, the act of eating is a choice, but you can't choose to like the taste of it. I suppose you put a piece of food in your mouth and think, I choose for this to taste good to me. Then again, a light from heaven comes down, etc. We have a free will to decide our actions and actions or reactions. But we can't choose the degree to which we like something or how it feels to us. When one of our senses is in use, it does the deciding, not you. If you touch a hot stove burner, you don't just go, I choose for this to feel hot to me or an ice cube is cold. You're not choosing for it to be cold. If you're getting stabbed, you don't claim, I choose for this to hurt. It does hurt. Now, if you walk out of the front door, that is your choice. You are not using any of your senses. A lot of people might say, oh, well, you're bisexual. I don't really buy into bisexuality. I don't think bisexualness is a real thing. I don't think that's even real. I so you can't be sexually attracted to both genders. That's bullshit. If I say, well, that was your choice to be gay. Don't take offense to it. Straight community. If I say, well, gays choose to be gay, that doesn't mean I hate gays. That just means, like, I agree, they do choose to be gay. That doesn't mean they need to burn in hell or can't get married. Absolutely, they should get married. And absolutely, Jesus will love them and God will love them. And God, God forgives all. God is so good to my straight viewers, my gay viewers. God is so good. God loves us all so much. That is, until he decides to send you to hell for all of eternity. That is a loving God right there. To send you to hell for all of eternity. For the simple crime of being gay. If you don't agree, and why? Because I have researched this and people who say they're born gay, they don't really have an explanation. Homosexuality is difficult to understand. Hell, sexuality itself is difficult to understand. All we know is that you're sexually attracted to certain things. If you're sexually attracted to women, then you're sexually attracted to women. If you're sexually attracted to men, you're sexually attracted to men. It's that simple. We, we're still learning 
more and more about ourselves. We're, we're, we barely know anything about the universe, our purpose in life, etc., etc. And you're telling these gay people that they had a choice to be gay? Oh. Oh. The stupid is strong and... The point of this video is that you're completely misinformed. I know you're trying your very best not to look or sound homophobic, but you sound very uneducated. I've talked to some gay people on the internet and they feel like that being gay is not a choice. They are sexually attracted to penis, okay? The gay men that I talk to are very sexually attracted to penis. So, that is all I have to say for now. I want to thank the guys that I interviewed on this website. You know, I had some great points, you know, especially that one guy that made a very long sentence. You know, he's also trying to be a woman. You know, he's, he's um, trying to trans into a woman. And you know what? I completely support that guy or girl if he wants me to call him that. I don't want to step any minds, okay? I want to avoid stepping on mine. So please forgive me if I sound, if I offended you, okay? That is all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.